Hello guys, how are you? Today I am doing something a bit different to my usual routine, which lately has just been relentless woodworking. My hands needed a break, my brain needed a break, and I have a bit of designing to do for a project that's coming up in March 2024. And because that requires literally going back to the drawing board, I thought I'd bring you in to show you how I go about starting a project and designing my acoustic guitars. Because this is not for a client build, it's actually for an exhibition, that I can't tell you about yet, but I will at some point. I get extra free creative reign, which means I can basically design a guitar that I would want for myself. With that in mind, I picked some timber out and it reminded me instantly of a poem that I used to love as a child. So I'm gonna use that poem as the inspiration for this instrument. So let's show you some materials and talk you through the first stages of how I go about planning a project. I start by sketching out the instrument, so I'm going to use an existing mould that I have. The actual shape of the guitar will be one of my usual shapes. I did design it with a smaller bodied model in mind, so it is, it is fairly small. It's somewhere between a double O and a triple O, if you are familiar with Martin. It does have quite sharp modern angles to it. It's not one of those like really rounded, traditional shaped instruments. I felt like there was sort of a niche missing for a more angular design. That being said, it is very comfortable on your lap when you're playing. But yeah, I'm really happy with the shape. It doesn't really have a name as such. It's just the Tempest model, because I only offer one model. I'm gonna make this guitar a 14 fretter because ultimately it will be available for sale and I feel like most people's preference is generally a 14 fret just so you have that access to the upper register. I've also been really happy with the 14 fret guitars that have been coming out of my workshop recently. I've really enjoyed the sound of them and also playing them. When you're starting an acoustic guitar it's kind of a good idea to practice the geometry on paper just to just to make sure because uh, as somebody who's not very good with numbers, I do like it in front of me so that if at any point during the build that I'm confused, because it does still happen, <laughs> I can go back to actual physical paper and just check my measurements uh, in uh, to, to scale, basically. My nut widths are 44.5 millimeters and at the 12th fret they are 55.8. These are pretty standard measurements and it just means that the fretboard will follow the string spacing really nicely. It's got that taper going on that mirrors the string spacing. It's a fairly standard measurement for a fingerstyle acoustic guitar. Um, it's what my mentor Rosie uses and I love the feel of her instruments so just that's my reasoning behind using that string spacing and that fretboard measurement. I used to be like massively meticulous about my drawings and basically when they smudged I would want to start again or if like I got a bit of dirt on it or if I had to redraw a line ever so slightly and honestly there's just no point because I will be using this thing a fair bit just around the workshop if I need it and it gets mucky anyway so I'm embracing the flaws and showing you the reality I'm not a, an architect with my drawing. Also, this is definitely not me losing my headstock template and using a guitar to an actual guitar to, to trace it that I'm working on at the moment. It's definitely not what's happening. I've actually chosen this piece of wood very deliberately. I looked through all of my moon spruce tops and I found one with bear claw. Pretty self-explanatory as to why I want this on a tiger guitar. So I don't think we'll call this bear claw, I think we'll call it tiger claw. It's called bear claw or tiger claw in this case because it kind of mirrors the scratchy scratch of a bear on a tree that you see. It's just a visual nod to that. And it's caused by just variations of the wood fibers growing in the tree. It's perfectly natural. It doesn't impact the sound or anything. It just looks quite cool. I chose Moon's Bruce because there are a number of references to the night sky in this poem. And I just really like the idea that a piece of wood could be associated with that. If you don't know what Moon's Bruce is, then I have explained it in a previous video. So go check that out. I really want to fill this project with like really small details like that, that really show the thought and love that's gone into it. I chose this mahogany neck because I, again, think colour-wise it just really fits in. Um, mahogany is just a gorgeously beautiful neck material to use. It's just buttery smooth and 
a joy to work with, quite frankly. Got this very nice straight grain piece as well, so I will be using that for this. This marking knife, by the way, is made by a really good friend of mine called Matt Eastley. You can check him out, you've probably been watching him for far longer than you've been watching me. Uh, he is a very gifted maker and he made me this marking knife, which is so sweet. And then we come on to the star of the show, which is the back and sides of this guitar. And this is where the inspiration for this project came from. The first time I looked at it, as I'm sure is happening to you guys right now, I saw an actual tiger <laughs> and I was like, how is this a thing? This is just ridiculously cool. So because I love literature and one of my favorite poems growing up was William Blake's The Tiger, I thought I would dedicate this guitar to that poem. It's a fun poem and it's one of the ones where as a kid you just like read it and be transported to this forest where this tiger is. Blake does a fantastic job of making a real creature feel like a mythical beast and I just love it. I want this guitar to feel like a force to be reckoned with and I want to recreate some of the joy that I feel when I read that poem into the sensation of when I play it. Now I'm going to use an organisational aid for this project because I can't really keep track of things at the best of times and I kind of feel as though what well, with everything going on it would be good to have it in front of me on a screen and as the timing is a little bit tight considering it takes me quite a long time to build one guitar I really need everything to be in place and available for me to look at at the drop of a hat. I am a visual thinker which makes sense as a guitar maker, someone who uses their hands, so I'm going to use something called Mila Note, which is a an online software that kind of helps you plan and track projects with very much an emphasis on visuals and it's pretty easy to pick up as a first timer as well. As I talked about, I gathered inspiration from William Blake's The Tiger, so you've got everything that reminds me of that poem and that I want to kind of mould the project with on this board here. I just went hunting on the internet to make a mood board to kind of fixate my design mind. This is where I have my colour swatches, I've got everything like that. I do like these colour swatches because it makes it a bit more cohesive when choosing wood and inlays. Kind of nice to see it as like a ballpark theme to see immediately if the colours are going to work together. That reminds me, I need to call my friend Asan. I linked him the, the board and he fed me back some comments because he actually runs a literary festival and he knows a lot more about literature than I do. I wasn't going to gonna let his brain go untapped, put it that way. And I've also got the poem itself because I always read stuff back and sometimes you get something from it. Even if you've read it a million times, sometimes having it in front of you makes you see aspects of it that you haven't seen before. And I've got some of Blake's illustrations as well. And of course, some images of actual tigers. Photography has advanced since William Blake was around, so not condemning his illustrations, but we do have realism nowadays. Now I know this website is mainly used for like creative professionals, like photographers, filmmakers, guitar makers clearly but I did actually drop in a little section for my travel plans uh, which had just had like my flight numbers and accommodation and that kind of thing because the exhibition is not in the UK it's abroad very exciting this is probably the most important part of the entire board so if you are from Austin please comment me some food suggestions also some templates I didn't use any of these templates although they're quite good I just kind of was feeling a bit like I wanted to make my own mark on the page. Milano actually collaborated with me on this video, so thank you to them. Always want to be working with brands who I'm actually using in real time. So if you have a project, or especially if you're a creative and visual thinker, like I am, and you need somewhere non-linear to organise your thoughts, the website's free, so you can just go and sign up for it, download the app, do give it a go, and let me know in the comments. So now I've got my thoughts organised and everything kind of in one place when I need to get inspiration for what I'm creating, I can start making things, which is great. I'm not going to start on this project until the guitars that I'm working on at the moment are out the door, so when I do, I will keep you updated and we'll go from there I suppose. I'm doing another very exciting project in January so I will be squirreling away up until then but all of January I will be creating some really exciting content just for you guys. My patrons know what's going on but for the rest of you I'm gonna keep it a little secret for now and uh, yeah, it's, it's so exciting, I can't wait. Don't know if you guys remember the guitar string knife that I did with my friend Holly 
last year. Because that really made a difference uh, to somebody, we, we raised £10,000 to give a new maker a space in London for a year. I did feel like I wanted to do something like that again, so that's what I'll be doing. There will be a charitable element involved. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Any questions, please pop them in the comments. I'll do my best to get through them. And I will see you really soon. Thank you so much for watching.